Oops. I can yank it open. Oh, wow. This is a freight elevator here at the at building 7B at RIT. I do have to use the outside doors manually because they they are electric doors, but you have to have a key to operate them from outside. Let's take a look at this. They got some boxes here, and this thing's humongous. Let's go up to four. You have to hold it down for a second. Relays controlled. This is the fourth floor. Oh, I guess the film god slipped there. Let's go down to the basement. I have to get around these boxes to get back here. This is defi definitely a traction elevator. Ironically, it's one of the smoothest on campus. Let's get a view of this. Let's go up to four. This thing is gigantic. I could actually fit two uh, subcompacts. Like, I could probably fit two Mini Coopers in here. It's actually larger than the one Dover elevator at uh, Symphony, at the Atlanta Symphony Hall. There's the escape hatch. We're gonna take it for one more ride. Those are the chains. They're basically large bike chains. Original um, Otis fixtures, but Downey Fiddling had to leave their mark. Alarm. Got a phone. Here we are in the basement. Had to hold. The doors do open automatically. I just held the uh, door stop button. Ironically, this is faster than the passenger elevator, which is actually located in building 7A. This is 7B, but they're all kind of connected. I see someone's trying to use it. So I'm gonna get off here. Should work.
All right, that's about it. Oh, and by the way, this is the um, exterior portion. This has been unlocked a few times. Now nope, it's locked. But you can see out there a good part of campus. I'm surprised this is usually unlocked. And see, they got a security camera just to make sure you're not doing anything you shouldn't be. And that's about it.